plaintiff, Christy Lewis, says her husband is the defendant's father. And Christy claims she and her husband took the defendant in because her mother was using drugs and abusing her. But they kicked her out after she stole from Christy. She's suing for breach of contract and damaged property. Defendant Lyric Hagens says she and Christy always had a good relationship. And the problems are really between Christy and her mother. Lyric insists she doesn't owe Christy anything, and she's countersuing for harassment. Start with you. In 2007, my current husband was separated with a defer the defendant's mother at the time. I did not know he was married. I opened my house numerous times for Lyric Hagen while her mother was doing drugs, cocaine, physically and mentally abusing her. I truly, sadly, had to evict her out of my home due to the fact of her stealing money out of my purse. I confronted her, confronted her about it. She wanted to call me a Excuse me, Your Honor. I then uh, tried to work things out with her numerous times. And as years went by, I opened my home once again to her due to the fact of her mother mentally abusing her. When did you all fall out? 2008, oh. 2009, yeah. And this thing you're suing her for today, the property, that was when? 2017, October 31st, of All right, 2017. so you all either resumed your relationship or something. We did, we re resumed it. I thought we had a good relationship. I was helping her out. I opened my house again. Why did it end this time? for a non-payment of a cell phone. Okay, so that's what you're suing for. We'll Correct. get to that shortly. Let me get some background from you. Hi, yes, Your Honor. Um, we had a great history growing up. When I met, when me and, um, it all, the beef is honestly not with me. The beef is with my mother. Me and Christy had a great relationship. Like, we used to go to bingo. We used to relax. Yes, I did make a mistake from stealing from her purse one time, but we had got over that. We became friends again. Um, you were playing bingo? Yeah, we used to go out and play bingo. How old are you? I'm 19. Okay. Um. And <laughs> do 19, you see anybody else there under 70 when you? <laughs> I'm I mean, curious. otherwise, I then kids, not now. necessarily, no. Right. You see, I thought I was I right. Mean, we she like said, to do no, bingo. she didn't say under 70. <laughs> That's what we had in common. We did yeah. a few things in common. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, um, we did have some mishaps, but we did. I always had a great relationship with my father. Oh, wait, why did you all fall out? Because the way she treated us, because due to her pregnancy with her, um, um, between her and Andre, because Andre raised us since I was one. And I looked at him as my father, even though he's not my biological father. Mm -hmm. She used to say things like, he's not your dad, and you shouldn't care, you shouldn't come to him for things like that. Like, God. I knew that, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, why would she say that? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we actually got over the fact that she said it. She didn't really harass me about it anymore, but we, okay. we got past our um, beings, and we've been friends. We've been friends since 09, since, since then. We have okay. conversations here and there. Good. Let's hear why you're suing her. She did not pay her phone bill. In February, I asked for the payment of $58, and she said- What was the agreement? She came to me and her former um, stepdad and asked if she could be put on our phone bill line. I said, sure, no problem. She paid it, and then here comes February, I asked for the payment, and she said no, she was not gonna give me the phone. Did she tell you why? She claimed that she already paid me when she did not, so I turned the phone off and I canceled it and I asked for the phone back. Because of non-payment. Correct, I do have the phone here. I have all my statements showing. I see him, please. How much the phone is remaining, of how many more payments okay. is left on the phone okay. and the down payment that she put What's on it. What's the damaged property for? 175 for the, did, for the deductible. What's wrong with the phone? She did admit to me that she did drop it when she was at work and she's cracked the screen. It's cracked, let's see it please. All right, and what do you say to this, ma'am? I have proof with her saying that I don't owe her any more money. I have proof um, of every, not, not exact proof, but I have statements from um, 
my ex-boyfriend saying that um, the times that he took me to her house and the times that he hasn't, um, I did pay her January 29th for the February payment. I gave her exactly that was not for, Excuse me, Honor. That was not for February payment. That was for January. The bill is due on the 20th of each month. I pay it on the 1st, February 1st, due to my income source. I pay for the February 1st for January. So why on February 11th did you say January I don't owe bill, you any more money? And then for February's bill, I pay for March bill due to the source of income I have. Go ahead. Okay, so with that being said, that is not true, Your Honor. I have paid every month on time. Why do literally. you think she's suing you? Honestly, she's suing me because the problem she has with my mom. It's just the fact that they're going to court over custody of my mom's son. She wants to take over my mom's son. And that's why she has a problem with me, literally. How about the phone damages? The phone damages, yes, I, re I, I paid for insurance for the phone. When I bought the phone, I had to pay a late fee. I had to pay her late fee just to get the phone. And I bought the excuse me, Honor, and I took that off from her first Show me some bill. evidence where you asked her to return the phone. You, you let her you know haven't. you were cutting it off and the reason you were doing so. And the damage. And when I did ask her mm -hmm. for her payment for February, she said I was going so hard about money, so now then she will meet me at Walmart to pay me. No, I, I, said, I went to her home. I didn't go to Walmart because the case was. Right, so you went to her house, mm -hmm. and what happened? And I gave her the phone back, and I walked away. All right. What's well, your counterclaim for harassment? Oh, right here. I'm counterclaiming right her for harassment right because she. Con consistently hit up my mom. She wrote on my Facebook. She hit my ex-boyfriend saying that um, I have to pay her such and such and such. That, she said um, that to you? Yes, that she was writing all, she was, I have all the messages Show right here. Show me what she said to you. All right, she you said. That believe was harassment. The harassment. This is from my mom. This one, these two? Um, I think this one as well. Okay. Excuse me, Your Honor. And this one as well, yes. What? All right. The reason why I message her, her former ex-boyfriend and other sources is due to the fact of I did not have any other source to contact her due to the fact of her changing her number. All right. So I do not believe that's harassment. I was trying to contact her for my money for the phone. All right. And... And I also have proof, Your Honor, that she said I don't owe her any more money if you want that as well. Where's, where, what type of proof is that? It's messages stating from her, right there highlighted. Now this is suing her for the phone. That isn't harassment. Do you tell her you're gonna sue her. Make sure I get my child support from you as well. I don't see the harassment here. I can't believe you're counter suing. Yeah, I'm not harassing you. Have a good night, bye. You stop. That's not harassment, correct? All right. <laughs> you gonna tell me what harassment is? A couple judges here today. Yeah, I, I, now there's only one judge in here. I don't need no more money. What is that? What do you interpret that as? She meaning? said that to me. That's I know. What do you interpret that as meaning? Um, that I, I don't need no. That she didn't need no more money. That all she wanted was the phone back. So no, I she could the be phone. that uh, all I need is the money you owe me. I don't need no more money than that. Then uh, yeah, that could be the interpretation as well. Well, guess you're not getting this phone. I do see you said that to her. Yeah. That's what I see on what you just gave me. Is you saying you're not giving it back? Eight hundred and three dollars is your judgment based on the evidence she gave me. <laughs> and your counterclaim is dismissed. That's not harassment, I've heard. Have a good day. And you get your judgment, but she gets the phone. Thank you, Your That's Honor. That's her phone. I wish this would turn out better than it did. But good luck, Lyric. I hope you die. I hope she gets mental health, because she's crazy. And Andre, I want you to know that I hate you. Lyric, you've been a. Uh, I don't want to hear it. It's okay. It's okay. But I'm strong enough to say it. You're a weak man. You ain't. Okay. You're weak. Okay. She's got your. Good. Tell her to give him back, then man up. 